In this video, we're going to explore how to insert an item into an array at a specific index location, basically, in JavaScript. So this is a very common thing. So sometimes you want to add up values in your array, but you want to pinpoint the exact index number or the index location in the array. Because there are some commands where you can put it at the very front or at the very end. However, you want to put it somewhere between. So let's start and explore how to do this. But before I even continue, if you want to learn about Chart.js, check out my Chart.js course on Udemy. You can find, find the link in the description box below. All right, so how are we going to do this? Well, the first thing that we need to understand is we need to know which command we're going to use. But first, let's have an array. Let's say we have a very simple array of month. Create a constant, and this constant is month. And in this month, we have a few items in here. So let's make this a simple array. We put in January, we put in February, comma, and then I will skip March, and we're going to put in April, meaning that we're missing a specific item. And as you guess, we want to insert March in here. Say, so, all right, we have a mistake here. How can we add up this information here? Well, very simple. Let's start and explore this. The first thing what we need to do is we need to know which command are we going to use. And I'm going to first use the console log just to show this value in here. Because right now we're using this HTML file, but the most important thing here is I'm going to work in the console log. So this is pure JavaScript and I do not care about this and neither should you basically care about the design of it. So if I save this, if I refresh here and open up the developer tab, you can see we have the array. If I refresh one more time, this is the correct array we're showing all the values so this is it and we want to put in here now march between how do we do this so the command we use is splice so we say here month dot splice and in here in the splice the splice has basically two or three commands in here in our case we will be using every command here all three of them all right so the first one is position to start all right so this is where the position we want to start and this is based based on index number yes remember there's a quest specific index i'm going to explain what index number is so you have so you know that so the next one would be do we want to delete do we want to overwrite specific uh or overwrite values in our existing array in our case we do not want to do anything of overriding because we just want to add up an item we don't want to delete this because if we would delete this for example we put march and we delete april then we have may here so it doesn't make sense all we want to do is we want to inject it basically in here or put it in here and move these to the right that's only what we want in our case so for us no no all right, so we're we're going to put this on zero later on. Next here, the final is if we want to add, which is yes. Enter your values here. All right, so this is what we need. So what is index? To make sure we understand index, we need to look here at these here. So let's look at index. All right, index here. You see your January. If I talk about index because there's index and there's element so i'm going to show here index what is index index basically january because a array is zero base counting this means that index it starts at zero and this is one and this is two and this is three so this is basically what we want we want to put it here we want to put it before the second index or we want to put it here and move april to the right that's what we want if we're talking about elements yeah, just to make sure you have the difference elements is almost similar here except we start at one and then it goes to two three and four so the first element is january which makes sense because it doesn't make sense to say the zero element is january it's very weird to communicate uh, for for basically two people and that's basically what we want here this is so this is element one but index number zero because the machines use zero as a starting point for counting. All right. So I hope that makes that clears out a lot of things. So what we want to do here now is the first thing is we want to insert our starting point. Our starting point would be here. 
at this index number uh, two because this is zero one two we want to start here and move the others to the right so what we're going to do here index is two comma do we want to delete something do we, or overwrite any values we can say here zero comma and then what do we want to add up so we want to add up if we have more than one value you can add up more than one value here but in our case we only have march but if you would have another one you could say here uh, june or jan or april whatever you want you could keep on adding up so this is the only thing what we want so now we have this and let's go here and type here console.log opening up this and close this save this and let's see what our developer tab is showing all right it shows here something it shows the value here all right sorry of course this shows you just only the splice which is start to add up a value what we want to do now is console.log and show the specific new array that we have save this and refresh and as you can see now we had here first the old console log which has no march and then we splice it up with march so we in inserted march here and move april to the right and now our new array of month in the console log you can see your january february march april and may and this is basically how you use splice to insert an item into an array at a specific index in javascript and you can adjust this you can move this around to whatever you want depending on the index numbers you are having here so if you have any questions regarding to this put them in the comment section below and if you like videos like this subscribe to my channel